everyone, it's Mike Andes here at LongCareMedia.com. And by the way, yes, from LongCareMedia.com, you can get this shirt. But today we're gonna to be talking about painting your vehicles. Specifically, if you have a company vehicle for lawn care, landscaping, or any service business, we paint our, ca our cars and our trucks yellow. I'm gonna talk about why you wanna do that, what the price is, and where you can get that done. So first of all, why would you paint your vehicles yellow or pink or orange or any other color under the sun? And the reason for that is brand awareness. A lot of times the reason you're gonna get more customers and you're gonna get referrals and you're gonna get more route density is because the neighbors of your existing customers, they contact you because they see and they notice your vehicles. Uh, when we had one of these vehicles painted yellow, all of a sudden all of our customers started saying, oh man, we see your yellow trucks all over the place. And we only had one of them and like five of them were white, but they noticed the yellow. And so the big thing is to be able to stand out and for you to be recognized by people a lot more often when you're driving down the street, when you're parked at people's driveways or you are working on their property, they actually recognize the vehicle and they associate the vehicle's color with your brand. So that's why you would wanna do it. Route density, getting the neighbors of your existing customers to call you and recognition in the community because of the colors of the vehicles. Now, where do you get them painted? Well, you can get them painted from just about any auto body shop. Uh, we get ours painted from Mako, and Mako is a, a nationwide uh, franchise. So they're all over the place. There's hundreds of locations. They're probably close by, by you. And we pay about $1,000 per vehicle, whether it be a truck or a car, usually right around $1,000. Now I've seen that as low as $450 down in some of the Southern states at like Economy Paint and some other places. I've seen it as high though as three or $4,000 in places like Michigan and Texas. So across the Augusta Lawn Care, across the, the country, we've seen massive fluctuations in price. I don't really understand why. And for the most part, typically paint is gonna be cheaper than if you do a wrap. So you could otherwise, if you didn't wanna paint, you could literally have the, these vinyl decals, but cut out to the exact width of every single part of the vehicle. Now, typically that's a lot more labor intensive and costs a lot more money, uh, but it's depending on your market. There's some places where it costs $3,000 to do a wrap and $3,000 to paint the vehicle. Well, then you might wanna just do the wrap. But for us, it would cost us $4,000 to wrap a vehicle versus $1,000 to paint it. Now we also put these decals on it, cost us another 500. So all in, we're looking at about $1,500 for our paint and decals versus if we wrapped the whole thing for 4,000. Now there are some drawbacks to painting your vehicle. The biggest one is the fact that if you ever sell the vehicle, the, the resale value is really hurt if you have like a yellow or pink or purple or some crazy color, it's a lot harder to sell these bad boys. Uh, but the thing is, if you're doing a service-based business and especially lawn care landscaping, you're getting little dings and dents in the vehicle. It gets dirty. It's, it's a work vehicle. You're not going to sell the thing until it's basically dead and ready to go to the junkyard. So you might as well go ahead and paint it, get good, good brand awareness and recognition in your community. Now, when you get the paint job done, I want you to recognize a few things. And that is, no, not all paint jobs are created equal. And the reason for that is because they're different price points. You can have different types of epoxy or a different urethane that is inside of the paint that gives it certain UV protection and all the rest of it. If you're doing a work vehicle, probably likely that you can just paint it at the cheapest price possible. So for example, these door jams, if you wanna go up in price on the cost of your paint job, yes, you can get the door jams done. You can do a different layer on these, all the rest of it. Now, there's things you wanna look out for when it comes to price. Make sure that you're not getting the door jams then if it's a crazy price make sure they're not including that um, also though when you come back for kind of like looking at the job and how it was done the little things you want to look at and the big difference between a good paint job and a bad paint job is how they tape everything off so for example I don't know if you can see in here but there's a little fine bit of of paint that's actually on the chrome of the vehicle. Not good. You can also see in the door jam, they didn't do a very good job of hitting all these areas because they're a little notch that's missing and you can still see the white from the inside of the door jam. So these are all little things, very, very, you no, know, it doesn't make a big difference, but all along the chrome, wherever you have tape that they're putting on is where you wanna make sure that they're not doing overspray and getting it all over the place. That's the difference really between a good, good paint job and a bad paint job. But the price is gonna vary dramatically based upon the type of color you have, which by the way, most, most auto body shops, Mako for example, you can bring in any paint swatch and they'll just match it. Like if you're like, hey, I want the color of this shoe. Like I like that blue. They're like, great, let's paint, let's just you know, match the color. So whatever your color you want, it's usually pretty easy for them to match, but that's why you would want it. Get brand awareness, recognition in your community, get more jobs and more customers because they actually know, they associate this color with our brand. I'm Mike Andes, LandscapeBusinessCourse.com. We'll see you tomorrow.